So why did we create the digital transformation maturity assessment process? And believe me, this is the number one question. How do I get my organization? How do I get my organization to, um, to do this? Okay. And I'm going to walk you through it. This is our absolute number one question. Number one, the vast majority of manufacturers that we worked with at Intellic Integration, that we work with at Intellic Integration, were coming to us after their digital transformation initiative failed with another integrator or another partner. Okay. Um, a lot of what I got started doing was I was re peer reviewing the documents that they were being given by these other companies. And I was literally telling them, like, I, I reviewed the roadmap that, you know, enter in some consultancy firm did for this other company. It's fucking identical to what they gave you. Like, there's nothing unique about it. All they did was give you a list of use cases. And they gave you this three to five year strategy. But that, it's not a strategy. It's literally a list of projects you should do in the next three to five years. Guess what's missing? Number one, common technology. There's the flawed assumption that the smart things don't need to also consume the information you create. And number two, that you're going to get smarter. Like what an organization wants, right? The thing, the problems you want to solve today are a function of what the organization knows today. But digital transformation is about exponentially increasing the collective knowledge of the organization through connecting, collecting, and storing data, then analyzing that data and visualizing it in MES systems, ERP systems, SCADA systems, but all from a common infrastructure. And then same thing with finding patterns, predict reporting, and small. It's about becoming smarter. Well, what happens as you get smarter? You learn things you didn't know, which is going to change your priorities. And the, 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 the process that they go through to assess you, this deliverable never has provisions for what do you do as you get smarter. Now, SESME is the only organization who has a, 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 a mechanism or they even reference it in any way, shape or form. And that's under the, uh, the execute and sustain step that SESME uses. I don't recommend people do SESME's assessment because their assessments fall flawed. I recommend people use our DTMA process. You don't have to go have us do it. You, there are other, we teach other integrators in our mastermind program. We teach end users how to do it. There are other organizations out there who use our exact same process and report their data into our data set. So it's not just us doing it. Obviously we created it. So we do it faster and blah, blah, blah. But you know, I don't recommend people use SESME's assessment tool because I think it's horribly flawed. But why do manufacturers fail? Why do they end up coming us to us? It's really only three reasons. They picked the wrong, had the wrong strategy or no strategy at all, picked the wrong technology, or they picked many wrong technologies, or they picked the wrong partners or many poor wrong partners. One of the issues in the industry is that the existing processes are flawed. The existing assessment processes are flawed, right? So there is a, there are very specific steps to digital transformation. Okay. So that is, if you are digitally transforming, you are going through very specific steps and those steps, if you look at the industry 4.0, uh, or the EU's industry 4.0 standard, they tell you that the maturity level of an organization, the first step in digital transformation is computerization. It's not true. It's education. That's why you can't. That's why the EU standard is flawed. It starts with education. So the steps to digital transformation are, are pretty simple, okay? It starts with inventorying the business, that is how the business operates, inventorying the intelligence, the smart stuff, and then, your, and, then, and then your first milestone in the DTMA process is a score on a digital transformation scale between 3.0 and 4.0 against 1,300 other companies. That's across 10 industry 4.0 pillars, pillars we selected because we know these are the ones that matter. And so if you look at an organization, you get a score uh, between one and five or zero and five, you can get a zero in a pillar, but generally it's between one and five across 10 pillars. And then you are scored, you get an aggregate score. Then we run a mean across the entire sample set and we run a standard deviation and a normalized distribution. And then we show this organization where they stand relative to all the other companies in our data set. And we show them, here are the companies in the top 10, here are the companies in the middle uh, at the mean. We never show them who's in the bottom because that 
that would show you know it, we don't give them the company's names but we'll we'll give them information about the companies this is an automotive manufacturer or this is an automotive company or this is a whatever we'll show them the samples of the companies but we'll show them on the distribution where they are so now they know where they fit relative to industry okay and then sometimes people will ask like uh, once we had a auto manufacturer who actually manufactures cars they said we want to see where we are against all of industry and then against just the automotive industry so within the automotive industry we had 77 auto manufacturers and tier one suppliers so we were able to plot them across uh, we sh we did a distribution across those 77 for them and so they got to see where they fit even among their own suppliers right then the next step is you design the foundational architecture so this is dur during the DTMA process. And then you basically create a roadmap of a journey that starts out very clear, okay? It starts out very clear during the first year to 18 months, and then it gets fuzzy, okay? You end up with, if you look at that roadmap, it sort of shows, you know, once you're beyond the 18 month mark, we think you're, you're gonna probably focus on these three areas. And then at the 24 month mark, it's gonna be these three use cases. But that's subject to change because your business is going to get smarter. You're going to get smarter. You're going to find other problems you may want to tackle iteratively. Okay. Then you do a proof of concept so that you can implement your unified namespace, your technology, your strategy. You can build your team. You can get accustomed to transforming use cases. Right. And then you just keep going. You present information to people, what they need, when they need, how they need it. That is, those are the steps to digital transformation at a at a you know 5000 foot view that is what we teach in mastermind right so when you hear me reference mastermind we're teaching we're teaching how to lead digital transformation using our our principles and and we teach how to do the digital transformation maturity assessment